I'm learning how to sail by taking the American Sailing Association Sailing 101, ASA 103, and ASA 104 courses. The American Sailing Association offers eight levels of certification from ASA 101 Basic Keelboat to ASA 108 Offshore Passage Making. This is the sixth day waking up on the boat in a week-long sailing program I'm doing in La Paz, Mexico with Go Baja Sailing. And like the previous days, today's story begins here, at the Anchorage, just north of La Paz. This final day of my sailing adventure started with overcast weather, but regardless of the weather conditions, it was still a beautiful place to wake up and start the day. Friday morning. So we've woken up at the Anchorage. We've had some breakfast, oatmeal, some uh, rock melon and coffee. Uh, yeah, overcast day. Again, the wind is not going to be that great for sailing, but we're going to give it a shot. I think that right now the knots are around seven knots, seven, eight. So we're going to head north on the peninsula towards the channel of the island. Hopefully the winds are a bit better than there. Um, yeah, hopefully have a few tacks each maybe and we need to head back in a few hours to the marina and call it quits. After taking some time to do the routine checks and discuss our float plan for the day, it was time to raise anchor, which George took care of while giving hand signals back to Ron, who was at the helm. We prepared and raised the mainsail to motor sail out of the anchorage. Soon, we were unfurling the headsail and preparing to start practicing some of the lessons we had learned during our week of sailing. Like the other days, we took turns switching through the various roles of sailing, and in one moment, we even had a brief glimpse of a whale or two swimming to our starboard side. With the wind starting to die down, we thought we'd head back to the marina. We would be sailing downwind, so we decided to try sailing wing on wing and setting up a boom preventer. If you're not familiar, let me take a quick moment to explain. There are several different points of sail, the no sail zone, close hauled, close reach, beam reach, broad reach, and running. When you're running downwind, you can sail wing on wing, which is putting the head sail to one side of the boat and the main sail to the other. There is a danger of sailing wing on wing, and that is that the boom will be quite far out, and if the wind or boat changes its angle, the boom can unexpectedly swing to the other side. If this happens, it can be dangerous to both the crew and the rigging so a boom preventer can be used. I'm not gonna explain a boom preventer in detail, but in its simplest sense, a boom preventer is a line that ties the boom to one side of the hull to prevent an accidental jibe. George set up the boom preventer, and then with a slight jibe to bring the headsail over, we were sailing wing on wing. Well, sort of. The wind had died down, so we didn't have that much of a wing on wing experience, but it was a good lesson for setting everything up. As we got closer to the marina, our sailing instructor, Doug, brought the dinghy close to the side of the boat and then tied it off. And from there, he gave us what would be our final lessons. He explained the rules of heading into a marina and basic docking principles. So we're just heading back into the marina now. We're going to stop off at the fuel dock and I'm going to throw the spring line as we come in. Yeah, see how it goes. My first time been shown how to do it two or three times <laughs> tried it once twice hopefully everything goes smoothly not bad for a first attempt but like all the skills I was learning I would need to find a way to continue to practice and that was the end of my week learning how to sail and we made it. We're still alive. <laughs> Overall, I had a good experience, and there's no question that I learned a lot. And no question that I also love sailing. I definitely enjoyed my time on the boat named Imagine. And I need to thank Doug for being a great teacher and sharing his knowledge with us. A big thank you also to the crew for sharing this moment in our lives.